Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stack bin. It's been ages since we've looked at this thing. Move you over. Move you over just a little bit here. So let's take a look and see what it's been doing. It might have even been a month since I've looked in on here. Yeah, I haven't looked in on them, I haven't fed them. They've just been left to their own devices for about a month. And that is one of the good things about this bin. You can feed it up on a couple of different layers with an assortment of foods. Um, similar to like if you're going on vacation, you can put some fast food in there, like melon or cu cucumbers, um, or things that have been frozen. And then you can also put in things like potatoes and apples. That will take a good long time to break down and you don't have to worry about your worms going hungry while you're on vacation or on a business trip or whatever. Um, as long as there's enough bedding and the moisture is livable, um, you can easily set your worms up to be successful without you messing with them. I would say for even two months if you plan it correctly. All right, let's see what the next layer down looks like. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? 100% castings. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that. These lower levels do tend to finish up much faster. Um, I don't know if it's the uh, steady moisture state in here or, or what it is, but, you know, honestly, I probably, I could harvest this right now. This is, this is done. This is definitely done. Um, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to throw this in a mortar tray and put some more bedding and food in this middle layer. It's a shame to, to waste this um, beautiful consistency. And because uh, honestly, this type of year, it's very prone to getting super wet. So I don't want to let this go. So let me grab a... a let me grab another bin here. I'm just going to dump this into the next one over. I'll bait out the worms and bring them back to the system. So that does kind of take us to the next level down, which I believe I had a towel in. Um, it's starting to rip. You can see they're getting in the middle of it in the different layers. They seem to be enjoying it. A lot of worms down here. Kind of looking to see what the castings and everything looked like down here. And again, they are super done. The nice warm weather and the constant moisture makes for very quick castings. So even though I had not planned on redoing this bin today, it is most certainly time. And it doesn't take that long to bait out the worms to get the system going again. I very frequently swap out the bottom of the bin for new stuff simply because it goes so much faster on the lower levels. So let me get that there. And I'm going to take the top of the bin and I'm just going to swap it out. Put that in the bottom. That might be too much. You can't put as much in the uh, bottom bottom of the bin because there's not as much space. It only has an inch and a half, two inches at the most of room just because of all the layers kind of like pressing down on the weight. So let's put the next layer on. Put these wormies in here. And I'm going to I'm going to feed these guys. I've got some super stinky stuff that definitely should be away from uh, my nose. So I have uh, 
a bag of coleslaw that went bad got down at the back of the refrigerator and uh, my husband's like, don't the worms need to eat something? Uh, the refrigerator needs cleaned. And I said, as it so happens, they do. So some broccoli slaw, some rice, um, give them a good layer. All the way across, there's a little bit of uh, turnips. So that's a good amount of food there. Let me get them a handful of bedding. Okay, maybe two handfuls. And if you're seeing anything shiny, it is the um, vermiculite. I sifted it out to uh, put in my plants, and uh, it uh, the little tiny pieces aren't really any good to me. So I take them out. <laughs> And I just uh, use it for grit or whatever. You can see it's kind of sparkly. All right, so now it's time to give a lot of bedding to this layer. All right, let's get their feeding going in here. It's the less stinky stuff. I got some turnip heads and I think pineapple and some rice and let's get them some more bedding on top of that. I tend to do my bins different than most people. I put in a lot of bedding and then add food as I go. So that should be good, and I will get together a little bait trap for the the castings that I just uh, pulled out. All right, guys, I figured somebody might want to know what I use for my bait. So I have my sour cream container here that I took a soldering iron and I poked holes in it all the way around, and but not on the bottom. And then I take some bedding and some mushed app or some frozen banana and some more bedding and some more frozen banana and some more bedding and in about a week's time there won't be much banana left but there will probably be a pound of worms in here and then when they do I'll bring you with me and we can put them in back in the DIY system so they can go home and then we'll have to come see them again at a later time all right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.